like the best part of the day other than me clocking out from work taking the mask off is like the best part it's so refreshing it's not that cold out today it's like 45 degrees which is pretty cold definitely to people out of state that's not if like down south and stuff or you know on the west side but up north no 45 is decent especially like people in new york city city they know ain't nothing wrong with 45 degrees my birthday was just last week it was a snowstorm day after my birthday. Snow everywhere. The next day, it was like 16 degrees. February, it has been super cold. Monday, February 21st. Um, your girl is 21. I am big grown, big grown. My plan is to post weekly vlogs up into graduation, y'all. I graduated in May. That is in two months. And I have a lot to get done. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Coming back from Christmas break was a little like hard um, because we was, you know, we was gone for like a week. And then honestly, you know, after the holidays, that's when COVID started trying to act up. Everybody thought we was gonna shut down, go back, to, go back into quarantine because we rarely had any staff at our school. It was so bad to the point where the week of school, I technically didn't even go to class because. It would either they would either cancel class or for makeup hours meaning if you didn't have no time to make up it was like going to class that day wasn't going to count and around that time i was good with my attendance so it didn't make no sense for me to go so it was kind of like i was out of school for two weeks and so when i came back it was still kind of iffy my class is small already because it's night you know it's night time a lot of people rather go to school in the day the special raw ones go to school at night time and i know my steering wheel is a little dirty i need to clean it um, so even when school really did resume and stuff it was still kind of like just i'm not gonna lie y'all it was kind of getting a little depressing like um kind of either be just three of us two of us there or sick people you know personal stuff so it was so like just weird feeling like empty classroom we weren't taking any clients at the time because one due to all this covid scare stuff you know the covid scare probably from the shut the whole you know thing down we ran out of product so we couldn't take clients because we didn't even have anything to dispense so really it was just all book work it was you know just I, it was it was hard to stay motivated even one of my classmates felt the same way i'm so happy that i am a self-driven person so still push through it i stay focused you know stayed on track what chapter he was on make sure i had that done still was able to take my test and um december was pretty rough and then January, I came into the new year um, and I said to myself that I just wanted to start the new year off with just focusing on little stuff and I just wanted to focus on work. I look a little rough today in school. Um, I wanna be realistic as possible. Working, you know, trying to work, working a nine to five, eight to five that's literally my schedule i'm gonna do that trying to stay on it at school and also create youtube content is a little much and my goal this year is to really bring that quality really bring that entertaining content for my you know my audience my sd besties people that want to do this people that just like to watch those do it and um pleasing i want it to be everything
just finished all of my note cards. These note cards are all due um, before graduation, and that's just something I just want to get done. Cards, if you're not aware, go write down every service, every protocol, every step to a service, and there's a list. And you must complete all of these before you graduate. You only have the advanced services um, left, which is great because I am now an advanced student. So everything just worked out perfectly because I'm learning these services as I'm doing the note card. What's crazy is it's like the more you do these note cards, the more services you learn. It like it's so easy to write out the steps. Cause at first, y'all, I was so detailed, you know, but now I'm just like cleanse, go ahead, exfoliate, this, that. Cause it's like the beginning of a service is almost the same. You know, you're gonna double cleanse, you're gonna exfoliate, you know, do the skin analysis, all of that. It gets easier as you keep going. And as you get so used to doing these services, you like I don't to write this this part down like I know this part <laughs> I know this part together but I absolutely love the products that I've been using and the only thing I feel like I'm gonna switch up is my second cleanser to something I can actually buy out the store and use instead of using samples but other than that I love everything I use and I use it at home
have a client today. I was literally supposed to come in and do work. But when you come in, the first thing you do is check the list, see if you have a client. And I have a client later today at 7.30, so I have a lot of time. It's literally like, I just, I think it just made like six something. So I'm about to dispense again. I'm going to be able to get footage because, you know, some people just rather not be recorded. So if we're lucky, we're lucky. And if we're not, then...